Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, September 12th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Want to cross facts and figures? Hmm. These aren't nouns. I don't think they would be that tricky on a Monday puzzle. Let's look at these downs. Not able to hear. That should be deaf. With the bow in music. This is kind of tricky. This is musical notation. That's going to be arco. So anyway, and on that note, e.g. Hmm. I guess these phrases are an example of a certain something. I would kind of want it to be a segue. I don't know. Segue is way too short though. Hmm. Maybe this could be data. There we go. Makes a mistake. That's going to be errors. South American palm with a black purple berry. This has to be acai. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be transition. Uh, maybe it could be transitions plural. Transitions. Yeah, because they're asking for this one and that one. So the answer should be plural. Very tricky. Parenthetical comment. That should be an aside. Do some needlework. That'll be so. Reaction to cuteness. This has got to be awe, right? All right, we have our first long across answer. It's pointing to 54 across, so I imagine this is going to be our first theme answer. Los Angeles venue named for the star of 12 Angry Men. Ooh, um... Well, we already have Fonda, so I guess this was named after Henry Fonda. I think it probably has to be Fonda Stadium. I think that's the only thing that would fit. Arena would be too short. Fonda Stadium. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Let's just see if we can confirm Stadium. Help with a heist? Shouldn't that be a bet? You're helping in a crime? Is it really not stadium? What could this be instead? Venue. Hmm, maybe it's a theater. Yeah, that would make more sense because he was an actor. Make as money, that could be earn. Blank chic, hippie influenced fashion. I believe that's called boho chic. Snacks for aardvarks, I think that'll be ants. So we have Noah, Trevor of The Daily Show. That's right, Trevor Noah. Clothes slangily. I think you could slangily call clothes threads. Very nice. Beethoven's Moonlight Blank. That's going to be Moonlight Sonata. Lots and lots. I think this should be a ton. Mazel Blank. That's Mazel Tov. That's congratulations. Picasso's anti-war masterpiece. Ooh, I know I've seen this before. I think it's named after a place. Let's try and get some crossing help at the beginning here. It might spark my memory. Bronte's sister who wrote Agnes Grey. Well, there's Anne, Charlotte, and Emily. None of those fit. So I think this has to be theater with an R-E. Very tricky. And then this will be Anne. Hmm. Pictionary, Boggle, Scrabble, and so on. Those are all games. Workers of all lands blank. Phrase on Marx's tombstone. I imagine that's going to be Unite. Yeah, he was all about the workers. Put into law. That should be Enact, right? So we have M-I-A, or Mia, soccer star Ham, Mia Ham, list ending abbreviation, etc. And where a TV show is filmed, a set. Yeah, that all looks really good. Okay, this is kind of ringing a bell for me now. I think it's called Guernica. I believe that's right. Let's take a look at this next theme answer here. Disney Plus series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Isn't there a show called WandaVision? I've heard people really like this show. Okay, so we have Fonda Theater and WandaVision. Hmm, this is very interesting. 
they both start with names and they end in things you could watch. Hmm. That's got to be what's happening with the theme. I still have no idea what the revealer is going to be, though. First Pixar film with a black protagonist. That was Soul. That was a good one. Apartment you own. That's called a condo. Annual celebration of Mexican heritage. This is looking like it's going to be Cinco de Mayo. Very nice. That's a fun piece of fill. Neighborhood grocery store that is called a bodega, especially in New York City. Made sounds while sound asleep. That's got to be snored, right? So we have a CBS, Network with an I logo, that's right. We have a Loge, ooh, this is tricky. Stadium seating section, yeah. Sometimes there's a tier of seating called the Loge. There's also Loge seating in operas. Dad, dear old family member, that's right. The Canterbury Tales author, that was Chaucer. Golden Blank, classic time, I guess that's the Golden Age. Illmatic wrapper, that's Nas. We have gas, what electric cars don't need, that's right. Yellowfin tuna, hmm, I don't know if I know this one. Animals that may be subject to an apartment restriction. I guess that'll be pets, right? No pets. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid for two. Those are both kind of nicknames, right? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, that was a movie. Hmm, it's not nicknames. What is this? Something brought home unintentionally from the beach. <laughs> it's probably gonna be sand. Yeah, that gets all over the place. Identical copy. That should be a clone. Sugar Hill Gang song with the repeated line, jump on it. I know I've heard this song before. I don't know if I know the name of it. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna need some extra help here. Letter before T. Uh, is it S in the alphabet? Yeah. Greetings. Is that just hellos? Maybe this is aliases. Yeah, it wasn't just nicknames, they were aliases. Is this Apache? I don't know if I knew that. That's interesting. What is this next theme answer going to be? First car from a Japanese manufacturer to be made in the US, 1982. Well, it looks like it has to start with Honda. That's another name. Um, hmm. I wonder if it's going to be like Insight? I don't think that would fit. I'm just trying to think of another word that has something to do with watching something. Let's see if we can get some crossing help. Dove sound, that's going to be a coup. Ben blank, that could be Ben her. Promise to pay letters, that is IOU. Chilled drink that might be served with a lemon wedge. That has to be iced tea. So what is this? Oh, is it a chord? A chord. You don't watch an accord. Theater, vision, accord. That's interesting. I kind of have no idea what's going on with the theme now. Hmm. Fonda, Wanda, Honda. Well, all of those names rhyme. I wonder if it just has something to do with the names here. These are all rhyming names. Hmm. Something brought home intentionally from the beach. <laughs> That's probably going to be a seashell. Very funny. From blank Z, everything. That should be from A to Z. Skeptical sorts. That should be cynics. Let's take a look at this revealer finally. I have no idea what this is going to be. Creator of Grey's Anatomy and Scandal, or when said aloud, a hint to the starts of 20, 30, and 45 across. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Yeah, her name is Shonda Rhimes, right? And Shonda Rhimes with Honda, Wanda, and Fonda. That's very clever. I love that. All right, let's see if we can finish off the bottom of the grid here. 
rainbow shapes, that should be args. Some loaves or whiskeys, that has to be rise. So this is I try, faux humble response to a compliment. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a humble brag. Gospel singer Winans, Cece Winans. Yeah, I just know her because she shows up on crosswords sometimes. And Sass, talk back to. Oh, that was so obvious. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think a good equivalent here would be, duh. It's a very simple equivalent. Take advantage of, that should be use. One of the five senses. Uh, I have a feeling I spelled Shonda Rhimes' name wrong. Yeah, because this should be sight, right? So maybe it's rhymes with an I? Yeah. Actually, they gave us a hint that it should be spelled differently because in the clue it says, when said aloud. Yeah, that's a hint that this should be spelled a little differently than the word rhymes. Shonda Rhimes, nice, okay. Swanky party, that could be a gala. Battle Blank of the Republic? That's Battle Hymn of the Republic. That was a popular song during the American Civil War. Made Off With? That should be Took. So this'll be Elmo, Ticklish Muppet, that's right. And Sank, Went Down as Hearts or Ships. Yeah, both of those things can sink. Word that conveys skepticism when its vowel sound is dragged out. Is it sure? Sure. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Present a case at the Supreme Court say. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what this is going to be. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Shouldn't it be argue? Yeah, that makes sense. Oyster's prize. That should be a pearl. And kick out. It seems like this should be expel, right? So this will be ape. Animal aptly found in banana peel. Yeah, there's an ape right here bridging the two words. This should be Rex, Oedipus Rex. That's right, that's a play by Sophocles. And this should be Gap, thing to mind between the train and platform. Yeah, I think you hear that in London, mind the gap. Excellent. All right, let's throw this P in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 18 minutes. That's a decent time for a Monday. So our theme today was three phrases that have Shonda rhymes. Yeah, Honda Accord, Wanda Vision, and Fonda Theater. Yeah, this is a nice simple rhyming Monday theme. There wasn't a lot of trickiness to be found in the rest of the cluing, but we did have some nice entries. I really liked this long Cinco de Mayo. Entries like Bodega and Apache were pretty fun, and Guernica was pretty good too, although this is pretty tricky for a Monday puzzle, the name of a Picasso painting. I also appreciated this pair of beach clues. We had two things that you bring home from the beach, one unintentional, sand, and one intentional, seashell. Yeah, this is a nice pair of clues as summer is winding down here. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed Shonda rhyming our way through this Monday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.